Why do so many people reject the gospel when it's good news to them? Now, unfortunately, one of the reasons is we as Christians do not deal with doubters well. In the art of wars, it says that if you know your enemies and you, if you know yourself, you're going to win every battle. In today's passage, Jesus taught us how to deal with critics in different ways and how to deal with them well. Three critics that came to Jesus. The first group is Jesus' brothers. Now, it's remarkable that Jesus' brothers did not support him at all before his resurrection. They even provoked Jesus and asked him to, why don't you go to Jerusalem and prove to self to the whole world that you are the Messiah in the, booth of fest, in the festival of the booths? Jesus ignored them, uh, their teasing, and he went there anyway. He did not want to attract the attention of the crowd. The second group is the religious leaders. Jesus went in the middle of the festival and taught boldly to the people. They were jealous and they knew that Jesus wasn't educated uh, with their uh, system and there's no prominent rabbi that taught Jesus. Jesus responded beautifully. He said, I'm not self-taught or taught by men. I'm taught by God himself. Therefore, my authority is not from men, but from God. The third group of people is the ignorant crowd. Jesus told them, we are all sinners. They're not happy at that point. And Jesus pointed out, because Jesus knew the religious leaders are plotting to kill him, so that he said, you are trying to kill me. They responded by saying, Jesus is crazy and has a demon in him. Jesus rebuked them and said, when you judge, you shouldn't judge by your outward appearance only. You have to judge with the right judgment. The gospel, my application is, the truth of the gospel never changes. But people are changing and the world are changing all the time. We must know the former, which is the truth of the gospel well, and we must uh, use this truth to teach the ever-changing world. If we don't do that, we will be irre irrelevant to this world. No companies can be irrelevant and exist. Therefore, we need to know the gospel well, know ourselves well, and know our enemies well, which is the world system, so that we can be effective with our soul winners for God. My prayer is, God, thank you for giving us the unchanging truth of the gospel. Help us to be relevant. Help us to know the people around us and know your words so that we can preach your world and stand in the gap to bring people into your kingdom. In your name we pray. Amen.